going to be inviting up on stage a gentleman who has over 24 years of relevant experience since 2008, a CFO partner and managing partner of Vesalius Biocapital and as co-funder of Value for Growth. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Guy Geldof. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm happy to be on stage, and I thank the LPA to give me the opportunity to talk to you about something which is really passionate uh, for me and, my, and our team is investing in, bio, in biotech. Um, so, Vesalius, we were a mid-sized manager. Um, we've been founded here in Luxembourg 15 years ago, around 2007, 2008. Um, a team of people from the Benelux, Belgium mainly, France, Germany, and Luxembourg has been chosen as that time a good place for us to work together and deploy our business investing in biotech. Um, we're on our fourth fund generation, and when I say biotech, you have many types of biotech. We are specialized in the red biotech, so human biotech, bringing new medicines to the market, new diagnostics, um, uh, instruments, um, and so forth. Um, and maybe the biotech industry, um, it's been around for a very long time, uh, and especially in Europe. If you look historically, the origin of our industry is in chemistry, and you look at chemistry and medicine, it's along the Rhine River. So if you see, um, and, that, and I'm talking even before, uh, the beginning of the 20th century, it's from Basel it started, and it goes up north along this Rhine around a big banana covering many countries where you have seen lots of innovations in biotech. Big companies emerged from, uh, from there, and we saw that they not, didn't always continue to invest in new projects. I think it's um, typical of uh, industry when they grow, they get a bit of risk averse. Um, and if you know that from 1,000 molecules somewhere discovered, only one is going to hit the market, you can immediately perceive the risk level that you have in our type of industry. And what we, as venture capitalists, do in this industry is basically offering pharma de-risked assets. We support and help companies to do preclinical work, bring them through the clinic, and basically make sure that there's a first proof that what we bring to the market is safe, on the one hand, and that it does what it's supposed to do, help basically um, cure people. And then you will say, but why invest in biotech if it's such a high type of risk? I think, and when I was thinking about the, the, the title of this, of this small speech here, this 10-minute speech, there's five reasons that we came up with of why investing in biotech is absolutely a good thing to do for investors also. First of all, it's profitable. It's a profitable uh, business. Um, and when I talk with the people, whether it's at the EIF or some of these big um, administrators that have many funds under management early stage, you see that the returns from early stage biotech, biotech is good. Many years, it's even much better than what our colleagues do in the traditional tech industry. So if you ask me why you should invest in biotech, first of all, I think you should invest because it brings returns. It brings nice returns, and I think our industry has proven over time that we can consistently bring good returns to investors over the long term. The second um, reason why I think investing in biotech is, is useful is that we have basically a proven business model. You know, we are every day in innovation. You know, a new drug to target this or that, a new instrument, you know, um, new artificial intelligence that makes, that allows to do better diagnostics, you know. It's, it's constantly there and there's constantly a market for these type of, um, of things. And it's basically not stopping. It always comes there again. If you look also 
um, from a third point of view, from the needs uh, that there are, there's still, we have brought, or our industry, the pharmaceutical industry in general, has brought many good innovations, and today we can cure people of things that we couldn't cure before and couldn't help before. Think of oncology, for example. Uh, the last couple of years, with all the immune oncology um, solution that we have brought, we have been able to find solutions for many cancers that have not been able to be treated uh, before. Today, in many cases and for many oncological projects, we can treat these diseases as um, a chronic disease. And then you say, okay, but if you find a solution, then why still invest in it? Because I think we see today the next uh, type of companies that will emerge from there. You know, cancer treatments, there's plenty of them, but they're horribly expensive. So we need to find ways now to get it more personal. So personalized medicine in this field are the next type of companies that we're going to see and that we as an industry support. Second, um, for example, also in oncology, today we are happy if we can um, treat it as a um, stable uh, disease, but of course the purpose is to help stop and reverse eventually this type of indication. So we see constantly new projects that will allow to do uh, that. Fourth reason why I think investing in biotech makes sense, and I'm talking here now as a European, is it's absolutely an area where Europe has a good advantage. Of course, America is big in there, Asia is growing in there, you see many great things also in China, in the kind of thing, but in pharmaceutical development, in biotech, it's still something where Europe has a lot of cutting edge institutions of research that come up with new ideas, new approaches that are worthwhile to invest. And I think um, when I look at Luxembourg also at the place, I think it's a place where life sciences has become, it's not something that has been here naturally from the beginning, but also if you see how um, the local government is trying to help to build an ecosystem in there, um, around you know, this, this big Rhine community, as I said uh, uh, before, I think it's um, something that um, Europe still has um, a role to play. And then last but not least, and um, in this morning's sessions you talked a lot about impact and impact investing. Um, I think when you bring a new treatment or a new diagnostic on the market that basically helps find solutions to people, I think you don't need to say a lot about the impact. You improve the qualities of lives of people, of all these new medicines that you bring to the market. So I think that, and I hope that I've convinced people in this room, in these 10 minutes that I had, that there's five good reasons of why investing in biotech makes sense. And at the end, I think you're doing the right thing, you're doing the good thing, and as an investor, it also allows to create a return on top of that. Thank you. Thank you.